Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a text transition like this one in a few easy steps with Premiere Pro. So without wasting more time, let's go to my laptop and show you how you can do it as well. The first thing I will do is to create a rectangular shape over the screen over there. So I'm going to go to the pen tool and from there choose the rectangular tool and create this shape like that. I'm going to press V and just according to your project, you can place it whatever you like on the screen. So in my case, I just going to leave it like that. And from here, I'm going to go to window and to essential graphics. And from here, I can change the color of the rectangular shape. So I'm going to go to fill and change it to a white color and also I would like to change the transparency as well so I'm going to pull it down to 70 just going to make it easier type in it like that and once we have created this uh, rectangular shape we want to create a text as well so to do this I'm just going to move the cursor a little bit further away from the rectangular shape and press T and just type something okay so from here, I'm just going to highlight text. And again, from the essential graphics, I'm going to choose a, another style. I'm going to use Balboa. I like this text style. And also, I'm going to make the letters all capital. So like this. And of course, I would like to change the size of them as well. OK, this is OK like that. And now I'm going to move the text above the rectangular graphic. It's going to move it like that. And I'm going to move the cursor down there so I can see where I'm placing the text. Once we've got the text created, you can put it above the rectangular graphic and adjust the text size as you like. Okay, in my case, it's going to be something like that. And I'm going to press this one. So I'm going to put the text straight into the middle of uh, the video. So once the text is created and you have uh, the rectangular graphic as well, now we're going to use a key in effects. So I'm going to go to effects and from there I'm going to press king. And from the king effects, I'm going to use the track mate key. So we're going to put this effect onto the rectangular graphic. And once it's applied, we're going to go to the left hand side of there and we're going to choose video number three. And as you can see, now the text has the color and the transparency of the rectangular graphic. But we want to be reversed. We want to have a transparent uh, text so you can see the background of the video. So to do this, you just press reverse and voila, this is done so easily. And I just want to move the text a little bit further up like that. And there we go, we are almost done with creating this uh, text transition. But to be a transition, we have to animate it. And to do this, I'm going to go to the rectangular graphic, go to the shape. And from there, I'm going to go down to position. So I would like this transaction to come from the bottom and go to the top of the video. So to do this, I'm going to go to the position, as I said, and move this downwards like that then i'm gonna press the stopwatch over there so i can create a keyframe but before doing this i just want to move those two graphics not just those two just a little bit further down in the video somewhere over here and i also want to extend them a little bit like that and i'm gonna go with the cursor over there like this and again press on uh, the rectangular graphic and go down to the position. And now I'm gonna press the stopwatch. So like that, I created my first keyframe and my next keyframe, I would like the whole graphic to appear on the screen. So to do this, I'm gonna hold shift and press the right arrow. One, two, three, four, four times. And then I want the text to appear and the graphics as well, like that one is somewhere over here. This is our second keyframe. And also at the end of the video, I want this graphic to go down 
again. So I'm gonna hold again shift one, two, three, four. I'm gonna create another keyframe here, which is the same positioning like this one as it is right now. And now I'm just gonna move the cursor further like there and create our last keyframe, which is gonna be again disappearing at the bottom of the video. Okay, now when this is created, let's see how it looks like. Okay, it's not too bad, but if you want to look even more professional, I'm going to play up a little bit with those keyframes. So I'm going to select those two first, and then I'm going to press on them with the right button of the mouse and go to temporal interpolation and press on continuous there. Then I'm going to press on this arrow over there, and from here, you can play up a little bit so you can find the right speed and appearance of the text. So I'm just going to play with these handles a little bit. Okay, leave it like that. And let's see, just the beginning of the video, how it looks. Okay, as you can see, it looks much better and it is in into the video. So we're going to do exactly the same with the last two keyframes. Temporal interpolation and continuous bizarre. And from here again, we're going to play up a little bit with this little handles okay so it's gonna be like that so let's see done and that's it guys that's how you can create those text transitions if you want to put it on the side of the video or at the top of the video you can do it you can place these transitions wherever you like in the video and that's how you can create a text transition with Premiere Pro guys and as you can see it's super easy to do it and also you can use it in all kinds of videos. But if you'd like to know how you can create a cinematic text review for your videos as well, you can click somewhere at the corners of this video and see how you can do this as well. Thank you for watching the video guys and if you got some value from it I would appreciate if you hit that like button and subscribe my channel for more videos like this one guys. Thank you from me and thank you from Baby Yoda and I'll see you next time.